Do you want to score a 9 band in Eelts Writing Task 1? Let's delve into the world of Eelts Writing Task 1, where understanding the task, especially bar charts, is key. Knowing how to interpret and respond to these charts can be the difference between a mediocre score and acing the test. With the right approach, anyone can achieve a high score. So, are you ready to unlock the secrets to a top-notch response to a bar chart prompt? Stay tuned as we guide you through the process of creating a top-notch response to a bar chart prompt. First and foremost, you need to understand the bar chart. This chart is a graphical display of data that uses rectangular bars of varying lengths to represent information. These bars can be plotted either vertically or horizontally. The length or height of the bars corresponds to the quantity of the data they represent. The two axes of the chart are crucial. The x-axis, typically horizontal, shows the categories being compared, while the y-axis, generally vertical, displays a scale of values for the data points. Each bar on the chart represents a specific category from the x-axis with a value from the y-axis. Understanding the chart isn't just about recognizing these elements, though. It's about taking the time to comprehend the data being presented, the relationships between different data points, and the overall trends or patterns. Remember, a solid understanding of the bar chart is the foundation upon which your response will be built. Now that you've grasped the chart, it's time to structure your response. A robust response to the ILTS writing task, one should ideally be organized into four paragraphs, the introduction, overview, and two detailed paragraphs. Kickstart your response with the introduction. This is where you paraphrase the question, ensuring you've understood the task correctly. It's like giving a handshake to the examiner a first impression that counts. Next, you'll move on to the overview. This section is a brief summary of the main trends, differences, or stages you observe in the chart. It's like taking a step back and looking at the big picture, the overall story that the data is telling. The third and fourth paragraphs are where you delve into the details. Use specific data, compare and contrast different aspects of the chart, and don't shy away from using a variety of language structures and vocabularies. A well-structured response not only looks organized but also makes it easier for the examiner to follow your points. With your response structured, you can now begin writing. The key to a successful response lies in three factors, varied vocabulary, accurate grammar, and a clear and logical progression of ideas. Let's break down the writing process paragraph by paragraph. The first paragraph, or the introduction, is where you paraphrase the question. This means rephrasing the prompt in your own words. Remember, it's not about reinventing the wheel, but rather about demonstrating your ability to use synonyms and different sentence structures effectively. Next, we move on to the overview paragraph. This is where you provide the big picture. Identify two or three key trends or features from the bar chart and present them in a summary. You don't need to include specific data here, but you do need to ensure you've captured the main trends accurately. Now, in the body paragraphs, you delve into the details. This is where you report the specific data from the chart. Be careful to avoid overcomplicating things. Stick to the facts and figures, and don't speculate or make assumptions. Use a range of vocabulary to describe trends and make comparisons. For example, instead of repeatedly saying increase, you could use words like rise, grow, surge, climb, advance, and so on. In terms of grammar, Aim for a mix of complex and simple sentences. Use linking words to ensure your ideas flow smoothly from one to the next. These could include words and phrases like however, in contrast, moreover, on the other hand, and so forth. One last point on the body paragraphs. It's crucial to ensure your description accurately reflects the data in the chart. Misinterpretation or misrepresentation of data can significantly impact your score. To conclude, summarize the main points and trends you've discussed in your response. This should tie everything together and leave no loose ends. Remember, your writing should be clear, coherent, and accurately reflect the data presented in the bar chart. This isn't just about demonstrating your English proficiency, but also your ability to interpret and report data effectively. After writing, don't forget to review your work. This is your chance to catch any slips or refine areas that could be clearer. Remember, clear and accurate communication is your goal. Revisit the key points we've covered, understanding the bar chart, structuring your response, and crafting it with precision. They're your golden tickets to success. With these steps, you are now well equipped to tackle ILT's writing task one and score that coveted nine band. Good luck.